Hi, I'm Tim Moore, the Associate Evangelist for Lamb and Lion Ministries. And I'm Nathan Jones, Internet Evangelist. Today we thought we'd bring to you a conversation that is on the hearts and minds of a lot of people right now, questioning whether this coronavirus pandemic is a judgment of God or if God has anything at all to do with it. Nathan, what do you, what do you think? think? What do I think? Well, I think that we got to look at the nature of God. Right, we got to remember that God is holy. We read in the Bible in Revelation 15, for who shall not fear you, O Lord, the glory of your name, for you alone are holy. And then it goes, the angels, the seraphim before the throne, cry out, holy, holy, holy is the Lord God Almighty. And because the Lord is holy, meaning set apart, it means that, that he is righteous. And because he is righteous, he can judge sin. So the underlying question is, is God behind the coronavirus? Is the coronavirus a judgment of God? It could be. I don't know about you. I cannot read God's mind, so I'm not going to say one thing or another. But we do know that God has positionally can be the judge and could be, as we've seen throughout church history, that there are times in the Bible where God does judge nations and people because of their sins. Very clearly. Obviously, he poured out judgment upon the whole world with a global flood. He poured out judgment on Sodom and Gomorrah. He sent Jonah to warn the people in Nineveh that he was going to pour out judgment because of their wickedness. But in each of those instances, and we'll use Nineveh for an example, the Lord's intent was not just to punish, but was to drive people toward repentance. The people of Nineveh did repent, and so the Lord relented of His judgment. But a lot of Christians today would say, well, that was the God of the Old Testament, or perhaps not Christians, but the world. Mm -hmm. Surely you don't worship a God who is so wrath-filled and, and putting out you know, suffering and, and death to people, because we worship a God of love. What would you say to that, Nathan? Well, we got to look at Psalm 711, where it says, God is a just judge, and God is angry with the wicked every day. Sin matters, folks. Uh, when we disobey God's law, when we rebel against God, we are uh, setting ourselves up in place of God, and that's rebellion against God, and God will judge it. But I love what you said, is that judgment comes not only to deal with sin, but the purpose is always, when you see it throughout the Bible, to get people on their knees, to yeah. finally call out to the Lord in repentance. And he promises in the Bible that he will forgive those who call out in repentance. Well, I think clearly we know that sometimes the Lord has poured out judgment. And we know as the end times come that he will continue to pour out judgments trying to lead people toward repentance. We'll address more questions about the nature of God and even this current pandemic we're suffering and what should be our proper response as believers and as a world in general. I hope you'll join us for more of these conversations of prophetic perspectives.